Today was one of the hardest, I'm sorry. I'm just not ready to open up today, okay? It's a tough week. Tough week. <laughs> I really want to drink again. Just, just one little drink. Well, you know what I'm going to say. If you want it, you should have it. I want it, you should have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having some now, and I feel really relaxed. I. I want a drink. I don't think I need a drink. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. I don't think you need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're like, <clears throat> tough week. Tough. Not as tough as you would imagine. I, I, I actually had a pretty good week. A surprisingly easy week. Well, then here's to a really good week. Good week. Good week. Good week. 
good week. But before you drink that, I want you to think about this. <laughs> Last time you drank, you broke out in handcuffs. And the court decided that you needed to go to meetings. <laughs> now, I'm not saying you shouldn't drink. I think you should. <laughs> I am really enjoying having this beverage. The whiskey smells nice. It smells really nice. <laughs> Feels good on my throat. <laughs> I just want you to think about the consequences that would be in store for you, Gerald. After all, if you can't control yourself, maybe you something that you should think about. Mm. It really does hit me. <laughs> Daryl, <coughs> turn your back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if that's what you think is best. I'm going to make myself a sandwich, Veronica. And I don't need a drink. I don't need a drink. Well, nobody needs a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Those of us who have them just enjoy them. <coughs> I like to enjoy. Jerry? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I won't make a sandwich. Maybe I'll have a drink. I'll have one drink. One drink. Good. You should. I just want you to think for a moment about the last time you had a drink. And, and I, yes. And you drove the car straight into that grocery store, and they took you straight to jail. Well, I, to the medical center. And then I went to then prison. Then to prison. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to think about that. But I don't let me stop you. If you want to have a drink, Gerald, I certainly, I certainly think it's great. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> This slideshow is just about the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Remember this postcard? It was so beautiful we had to take a picture of it. Oh, we had to take a picture again on the other side. You have this slide? <laughs> I didn't know how to break it to you, and I didn't know 
and you, you have to, you can't. And then and we were looking at that atlas, and we were taking pictures, and you got up to go to the bathroom, and I took more pictures. I was gone for five minutes! <laughs> I had to go on high! <laughs> Foundation. 
Like to a house or to a tower. Or to a mountain. No! <laughs> <laughs> to a mountain. <laughs> like a, a low gradual mountain. <laughs> like an anthill mountain. <laughs> That's what you look like you're standing on. Oh. <laughs>
Roscoe Elementary, <laughs> where correspondent Jake Howard brings you the latest. <laughs> Roscoe Elementary? I believe it said Roscoe. It said Roscoe. Well, I just read the card. <laughs> Mine's digital over here. <laughs> <laughs> you came back to torment me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm in love with you. <laughs> I've missed you. Jesus, fuck. No, just fuck. <laughs> <laughs> to admit that it's dragged me down. Thank you, Mr. Howard. <laughs> and it turns out they are just as safe as we thought. <laughs> <laughs> Yay for schools. Speaking of schools, funding is horrible out there right now. Do you want to help? Call this number on your screen. Thanks so much for your support, and go get them, America! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> there, I said it. You got Buck to say the L word. Congratulations. What do you expect me to do with that information? You say it back. That's the way it works in this community. <laughs> <laughs> I said I used the L word. You threw lines in my face, which was not the L word I was trying to communicate. I'm sorry. But it's who I was. A liar. A cheater. That's not an L word, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please, there's no problem with Coke. <laughs> and we would act. For the latest on sports, we take you to Coach Steinberg. <laughs> Because some people do the loss to me. Me. You? Sure. But you're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
this stage has got that day. <laughs> this whole day just got better. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just opened it. Well, it's still Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> smash it. Do uh, you know why I'm going to smash this bottle? No, I'm noticing you that that has not turned to me. And I, no, my front front is turned to you. Yeah. My front. Turn to you. This is a different you. Well, let me explain. <laughs> I am not. That's the greatest thing about this. Best day ever. <laughs> this day that makes it so much better <clears throat> is because I'm keeping you at. You can't. You can't. Oh, I can. I will. I'm not going. I'm not going, and I'm opening another bottle. There are no other bottles. I've gotten rid of all. Where are all the bottles gone? <laughs> <laughs> we are all the bottles. I swear they were here when I opened that other bottle. They weren't there. Not as of 3 a.m. last night. They're gone. I donated them all. To? A school. <laughs> They're empty. But the school wanted them for a play. There's broken glass, be careful. Everything. When it comes to drinking, is gone. I don't need to drink. You don't need to drink. I like to drink. I know you do. I don't need. Nobody needs. No one needs to drink. Drink. I did. It tastes really good. It did taste really good. You know what tastes better? Happiness. I don't know what that's like. Yeah. Do you know why you don't know what that's like? Because you're making faces at me and saying things in a mean, grindy tone? Exactly. <laughs> and you're drunk all the time. It feels good. Your feelings aren't good. Your feelings are clouded. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, I like, but I like it. I don't. But I... Don't you get it? I am not, I'm not a cloud. I'm not a cloud. You're not a cloud? Cloud do. Cloud. Cloud. I'm not fog. I'm not foggy. I'm not clear. I'm clear. I see everything. Everything. And you aren't truly happy. Because you keep me down. Which makes me unhappy. And since you are with me, if I'm not happy, then you're not hurt. <laughs> well, I definitely feel unhappy right now. Good. Good. Welcome to my world. Welcome. Welcome. Oh. Where are the bottles? There's no bottles. <laughs> and there won't be any more bottles here, ever. Well, then what? what's going to happen? Where am I going to go? You can still be here, just like I am. But you said you were kicking me out. And you, you said I'm kicking you, you out of here. <laughs> I'm kicking, I am kicking you out of the bottles world. Can you, can you get away from the cabinet for five seconds? Just five. Five seconds. Of course I can. Prove it. Five seconds. Do it. One Mississippi. Uh -huh. <laughs> Two Mississippi. Three, there's no bottles there. There's no draw. <laughs> five. Oh, no, no. You only counted. The other ones were silent. Hey, <laughs> Mississippi, yeah. two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Don't you speed it up? That's why the Mississippis are there. Good enough.
that chair tomorrow morning will be stapled to the floor. What? <laughs> <laughs> this chair will be hammered, nailed to the wall that used to contain bottles. This is a euphemism. No. <laughs> I won't turn my back on you anymore. Because I can't. So we're to just sit then and stare at each other, is that it? <coughs> Look at me and not the wall with the bottles. <laughs> Look at me! I've turned my back to you for years. Because you didn't deserve this. Me. Because I tried to escape, and all you did was pull me back in. Pull me with your, your happiness and terrible week and escapism. It's really nice to be able to have a toast and call it a day. It's nice to be able to just let the week go. Look at me. Let it go. Let it go. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll take it. Let it go. Um, well, there was this lady at work who yeah. said my dress looked funny. Your dress doesn't look funny. And then I didn't do all of the paperwork. I said I would get done by the end of the day. It's and okay. You can I, do it tomorrow. But then it's late, and that's it's my late, fault, it'll, it'll and it's really done. stressful. And Great. we're out of staplers in the supply room, it's, and everybody just keeps taking them home, and you think they're running out of staples would be the problem, but instead we're out of staplers. <laughs> we have lots of staples in this balance, which just blows my mind. Maybe I won't nail this to the wall. Maybe I'll bring it here. I'm noticing that you're doing a lot of not turning your back to me. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. I don't want to be away from you. Are you going to make that face? Do you want to be with me? <laughs> I like that face. Do you want me to be happy? Do it again. <laughs> yes. Do you want me to be really happy? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a big step. I bought a second I, I see that. I see you bought a second chair.
This is nice. Click. Now we can watch our slideshow side by side. I'm willing to try getting a different angle. What do you mean? You want to go high? You're going to go high! You want 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 to You made me really happy. <laughs> Slow. I, I want to... I will try to go high.
No. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling I should leave. I put in the call, they can't get Hughes back. You were right, he's gone. Yeah, they he's... put you in, they hired you to replace him, and they just didn't tell me, and there's a reason for that. It's because I'm fired. I know. Everything is, you know, they're giving you the whole show, or at least that was the plan. Yep, uh, let's move into mornings. <laughs> you, uh, you didn't really come back for me. Not the same. <laughs> More lies, Buck. It's you. <laughs> you know, I, uh, you're right. I did come back for your job. But it's interesting you mentioned that, because, uh, didn't need this second stool anyway. See that one. Let me have one more moment in the studio. I'm surprised they're still giving it to you. You did lose it on camera. On camera, which sells what? <laughs> more broadcasting. Yeah, more broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, I'm good. <laughs> Just such a <laughs> jerk. Hey. Can I tell you something? Between you, me, and the non-existent cameras? They're off, so they don't exist. Is that what you wanted to tell me? No. <laughs> Though it's true. I came back for your job. It's yes, true. I, you've established that. I wanted this... this stool. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready to say goodbye to it. Fine, take your time. Show sure doesn't film until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, America. I thought the cameras were off. That doesn't mean they're off in here. <laughs> <laughs> I did fall in love with you. Halfway through that wonderful banter we had back and forth, I was in love with you. Wonderful banter? Mm. Back and forth about you stubborn? Gosh. You think that just me coming back would make you lose a job? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. This stool deserves better. This tool deserves you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I may not be the brightest man, but I'm good looking. And people appreciate me. So yeah, I took your job. But I bet I took your heart, didn't I? Just a little. <laughs> Dang it! Oh! Yeah, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> yes. A little bit. So, oh, God. here's the bargain I make with you, my dear. I'm taking your stool either way. Mm -hmm. This nice, flat stool. A stool where my fanny will sit and make the world watch. Oh, I want to hate you, and I do. Yeah, but it's hard not to love me at the same time. Oh. This stool may represent a lot about you and me. Is <laughs> <laughs> that? I'm not really sure. Wooden. It doesn't make sense. I'd say more that it kept us up in the eyes of the world. Allowed me to not wear pants while broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true either. That was the bench. <coughs> this nice table. <coughs> that's what hid my parts. <laughs> no, this, this stool has nothing to do with you and I. <laughs> but I'm leaving, Huck. You've got my job, and I'll admit you've taken part of my heart. Good. I'd like to take the rest of it after dinner. Oh, I want to say no. It's hard not to, though, isn't it? I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> hey. My mother told me she would physically take my life away. If you went back to me? If I went back to you, she yeah. should knock down my door 
and she would take me out, and it was her right since she brought me in. <laughs> <laughs> yep, your mom's funny. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt. It's been working out. <laughs> I'm guessing you look great under those clothes. Please. This is family television. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> I need you to set me free. You can't just take my job and then take my heart. I need you to set me free. All right. But here's the deal, sister. I'll be on that news every morning, 9 a.m. It may seem like I'm talking to America, but I'm not. I'm talking to you. You and you alone. Take that how you want to. If I'm talking about those sweet, innocent kids out there selling cookies for childcare, books at their local school, well, I'm talking to you. And sure, if our government shuts down, I'll talk about that too. But I'm talking about the shutdown of my soul when you're not around. <laughs> And I know what you're thinking. That weather coming in from the sidelines. That storm brewing in the corner. No, that's a storm, all right. A storm of feelings. <laughs> feelings I have. Most of them positive for you. So go. I set you free. But know that my heart. Well, that's yours, too. That's my name. <laughs> I wish I could quit you. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs>